Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again. God bless you. We really appreciate you for your support um, to this channel. And all you do, we do not take you for granted. And we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. The one we have right now, guys, is quite interesting, you know, regarding the um, the just concluded um, governorship election that took place in Edo State. You know, the All Progressive Congress lost out the election and um, they don't they are not taking the governor to court um, regarding the outcome. They are not contending the outcome. However, they are just um, continuing with um uh, pre-election cases and just today um, the surprising one came out this morning we did and uh, we reported that news here at peak network you can check it out that the apc they set up a panel to actually uh, uh probe what went down what went wrong how did they lose the governorship election we know that uh, we know where that probe will end because um, even before the election itself there were a lot of signals and a lot of signs that APC was going to lose out from different angles. One was that of um, the the um, the chairman of the APC Ketika Committee, the person of um, Kano State Governor Abdullahi Ganduje. You know, at that very point, his um, the dollar scandal came up again. It was uprooted, and even as a matter of fact, PDP made it fresh, very fresh on the minds of uh, people. As many that have forgotten that scandal, they displayed it. They played it on the biggest roundabout in Benin City, Edo State. So that was one of the reasons, you know, be, even before the election, APC uh, chieftains have been stating that this is a wrong choice. They were just uh, 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 murmuring behind that this will not work. The choice of this um, chairman, campaign chairman, will spoil everything. That was one side. The other one was um, Adam Soshomole, the suspended national chairman, who was um, the main backbone of um Ize Iyamu. I mean Adam Sushomale really supported Ize Iyamu. That to be very, very honest and candid. He did his best. He was everywhere. I could recall the day he stepped his foot into Edo State, into Benin City. You know, he was thrown by a large crowd and hailing his name and calling him Osho Baba and everything. And when he was when he had a chance to address the crowd and even just speak one thing he stated was that he's not leaving Edo State until the election is over. So he came with his all to actually support his anointed candidate, Pastor Saige Ize Iyamu. But things didn't go well. Even at some point, Ize Iyamu, <laughs> he started blaming Adam Soshomole for um, the ill things that were happening to him. But the one we've got right now, so we all know how everything has uh, uh, went down um, during the election. The one we have right now, um, Ize Iyamu is someone who truly wants to rule Edo State. It's been stated that Ize Iyamu could possibly decide to run for the next Edo election, but without the help of Adam Soshomole to do it independently. Maybe that will change the mind of the people. You know, one of the big, uh, one of the big uh, things that affected Ize Iyamu was Adam Soshomole changing, <laughs> uh, um, trying to justify all he stated in 2016. You know, this was the same person who spoke against Ize Yamu, spoke ill of him, called him several names, made derogatory statements about him, called him a fake pastor that cannot be trusted with money. And all of a sudden, in 2019, he was changing the music and the people were not comfortable with that. What is going on? Adam Soshomole now even made matters worse. He started explaining himself, justifying why he said those things, that he was just playing politics. I, I think that didn't sit well with Edo people. So Isaiah Yamu must have learned all of that. That I'll give it a go again, but uh, um, without Adam's or Shomole. Anyway, we'll bring you some details uh, in a moment. But before we carry on, guys, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Indeed, Pastor Saige Ize Iyamu was the APC gubernatorial candidate for the recently conducted Edo election in Edo State. You may recall that Adam Soshomole was in charge of Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu's campaign team. And he, Adam Soshomole, did his best. He made the big wigs in the National All Progressive Congress APC show support for Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu. Governor Gordon Obaseki won in the September election. Indeed, Pastor Osaige Zeyamu may not want Adam Sushomole to be his campaign director in the next Edo election. And these are the reasons 
that supports these statements. One, for the fear of God for that reason, many Edo citizens do not want any candidate that seems to have the endorsement of past leaders. Hence, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu may want to run independently. Secondly, Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu has gained popularity and political influence in Edo states and as such may not need the endorsement of Adam Soshomole to gain the votes of the people in the state. Lastly, an independent gubernatorial candidate may appeal more to the people at the grassroots as he would most likely want to acquaint himself with them and this will earn him their votes. Ize Yamu is a politician, obviously, and you know, this this is um the last election is not even the first time he was trying. He gave it a go again, but with a different party. You know, he contested in 2016 under the People's Democratic Party. And when he didn't win, he moved camp, he moved to the um all progressive congress. Unfortunately, again, he didn't win again. So, like other times, there was always a change. It's been stated that there's going to be a likely change that he's going to contest again. He might decide to contest again, but without the help of Adam Soshomole. You know, the blame game that Adam Soshomole <laughs> gave him some bad looks. And also, um, he doesn't want anybody to see Adam Soshomole like his godfather. You know, several times he came out to say that Adam Soshomole is not my godfather, but Adam Soshomole was following you everywhere throughout the campaign. So he might want to distance himself from Adam Soshomole. That is one. Another thing is that um, he has gained a lot of popularity. That's true. Very, very correct. If we even check the votes, the total votes, Obaseki and PDP won with a total of 307,955. That is not even too far from um, what um, Ize Iyamu, the, the number of votes that Ize Iyamu got. Ize Iyamu got 223,000. To me, that is a lot. If this election was truly judged as a, a judge as the most credible, 203,000 to 223. So Izeyamu even got more than half of Obaseki's vote. So it's popular. To, it's very popular. Other parties, if we look at other parties, the kind of votes they were getting were really, really minimal. You know, um, these are not the only party there. There were about 14 political parties that uh, um, participated in the governorship election. Anyway, guys, let's hear your own thoughts down below. It's been stated that Ize Yamu may likely run for the next Edo election, but without the help of Adams or Shomale. Thank you once again. Yes, guys, don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.